Three things. One, I want to apologize for not having a video this week in between um, trainers reacts because I usually like to have a buffer video in between so that my channel isn't just, you know, trainers reacting one little thing. But I've been really busy working on my app that's coming out later this year and also working on uh, various t-shirt designs too because a lot of you have been asking me for merch and stuff like that so I can't wait to release those and I can't wait for y'all to see them. Uh, number two, a mighty guide, my home workout program to build muscle and burn fat, which is just calisthenics, you need no equipment. It's actually having a back to school sale right now. This is the lowest price you can get it at. So all you gotta do is click that link down below and that this is the fastest time you can get it. It'll help you build muscle burn fat at home. You don't need any equipment whatsoever. And three, Jojo pose like Xena with me. Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back with another episode of Trainers React, the series where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze how effective the routines in Don Bruno and Kiro Matero actually are and what is a bit like bogus. So today's episode is going to be super fun and as always, this video is being sponsored by Funimation. So if you actually want to watch How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Don Bru, legally, click that link down below and you can watch it and like just watch it for like 30 days free or something like that. I believe that's how it works, but uh, definitely give that link a check out if that's what you're interested. In. But today my girl Zena officially joins the crew and so let's just get right into this episode. I wish it was that easy to learn Japanese. I would be so fluent so easy right now if you could just watch anime and pick it up. The only thing I know is NANI NANDAYO OH MY GOD You know like that's all I know. And you watching Jackie Chan movies Zena really okay. <laughs> oh my god I forgot her older brother if you read the manga you know her funny older brother is one of those characters I, I I completely forgot he owned this okay okay yeah whatever like that's just a little interesting tidbit I honestly forgot that her older brother owned this especially since we meet him later on and he's funny so okay <laughs> Hey, let me pause real quick because I know like a bunch of vegans are just going to be like scratching their heads out because of the nutritional like, animal protein thing. Now let me just uh, say this really quickly. Uh, my whole thing on nutrition still stands, alright? So you remember from episode 3 of my trainers react where I did brought out the whiteboard and did that entire thing where I broke down how to actually see if a diet is helping you no matter what it is and how to pick the best nutrition plan for yourself. I still stand by that 100%. Go and watch that like segment of the video and it's still 100% valid like that is 100% the way to see if your nutrition is helping you or hurting you So I still stand by that 100% But one thing I will say is a lot of people do get into this mindset like oh I only have to eat this way But what you should try to do is get a variety of protein sources Like don't just go like oh I'm just gonna eat like a bunch of chickens and beef all the time Because like that's just in my opinion I don't think that is beneficial like for instance I can't eat as much red meat as I'd like to just because of my family's uh, issues with it. Like for instance, when I go, go to a doctor, I always get my blood work and stuff done. And then like oh, there was a time I was just constantly eating like steak and beef and all this stuff. And it was like, my blood pressure was like super, super high because of the amount I was eating. But I was eating like a super incredible amount. So what I try to do is like, I keep that for like cheat days or like um, very sparingly. Like I always eat on cheese because I love a good burger, all right? Whataburger is the goat, all right? I love Whataburger. No, I'm not in Texas, but I really want Whataburger right now. That's why I'm bringing it up. And um, I, just, I love the taste of beef and stuff like that. But for my family's health aspects, I try to stay away from it. Uh, for me, th this is just for me. I'm not talking for anyone else out there because remember, like I said in episode three, you gotta talk for yourself. Like I can't eat as much because of my family's uh, thing with diabetes and high blood pressure. Like that's just my genetics, you know, just uh, that's the card I was dealt with. So, and that's what the doctor told me and my health has been skyrocketing steadily when I just do my uh, thing throughout the week that I do, which I already talked about in depth. But uh, yeah, just get a variety of protein sources in your meal plan. So it doesn't always have to be beef. You can get like rice and beans, quinoa, um, uh, you could try other seafood, like you could try seafood, like um, crab meat is really good. Uh, it's very low in calories but high in protein. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's that expensive or not, but I know because um, I I've, I've had it a lot recently. Um, uh, you could also try 
uh, a lot of shrimp, shrimp's good, or right, turkey burgers, stuff like that. Just get a variety of protein sources. Like, not everything has to come from animal. Like, there's this whole thing where, oh, if you don't eat animal, then you're just fucking yourself over. And, like, no, you can definitely get results from doing, like, you know, vegetarian, vegan stuff. It's just you gotta variety. But my uh, honest opinion is to just get a variety. So, like, you know, a little bit of, you know, meat there, a little bit of, you know, veggie stuff, a little bit of carbohydrates. That's my personal opinion. I think that just works the best for health benefits but if people are going for aesthetics that's different because I know like uh, someone I really look up to a lot or like he's always doing this training and he's just like man I eat this much red meat a day because I'm trying to be like a bull man and you got to eat big to get big and it's just like you know stuff like that I, I like those macho people I respect them but like I'm just saying this for the average person who wouldn't know I love Xena's Jojo poses like honestly this is my favorite Jojo pose to do so like the fact she always does this or just like that. I, I love it so much. I, I just she is such a dork. I love her. And she's such a big weeb. Uh. Yeah, my wrestler Joan from Kengan! Yo, oh my god. Oh god, I'm so glad they put him in there. I, I forgot. I almost forgot that he was made a cameo in this episode. I think Shion makes a cameo too, but like, oh he's getting those Hindu squats in. But um Again, another Kengen Ashra character, one of the most badass characters in the show. And Kengen is on Netflix right now, and honestly, I watched it, and I, I, I'm kind of salty because this is so well done. Like, the thing about Kengen, I, I'll, I'll talk about it in my Baki Kengen video coming later, but whatever. Like, I'm so glad they're showing this, and it just makes me really... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of salty like they didn't have a 2D Kengen, but whatever like I'll go further in detail when I get to that video Because I did watch all of Kengen on Netflix, and I got words so uh, yeah, but yeah I, I love this. I love this little fact also that whole thing about like trying to get in calories So you blend your meals don't you know that's what I do with my vegetables like that This is my one gripe as a fitness person. I just do not like eating vegetables Like I don't like cooking them on the side So I just like blend that shit and drink it or like when I was doing my photo shoots I really 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 can't stand chicken breast anymore because like when I was doing my photo shoots I would have to do this chicken breast broccoli brown rice and then I just went to chicken breast and broccoli and when you have to just wolf down like six chicken breast and broccoli six times a day for like four weeks it becomes like so agonizing so I fucking hate it now so like I I only like unhealthy chicken you know cuz stereotypes but no I just I really only like unhealthy chicken now and uh, like sometimes I would just put it in the blender like I heard Zac Efron even did this too but I would just like put it in the blender and just like hold my nose and wolf it down and it was just like okay got my protein and all that crap for the day but it did not taste good at all it did not taste good at all but I can relate so hard Hard to this. Also, I love the notion that Xena thinks that Hibiki is so strong because she eats more. Because if you remember from Baki the Grappler, the original Baki the Grappler, not Netflix Baki, because ba Netflix Baki is season three, and I always have to tell people this. Go watch those first two seasons with Redhead Baki. But like the character of Ando in the first few seasons of Baki had this quote: "It's like all fights are won by those who can eat the most." So it's just like I love that whole thing of like in the fighting world and anime most definitely. It's like oh, if you eat a bunch, then you're like one of the top dogs. So I always love. Of that quote. Ah, oh, snap, there's Shion! Shion, Ake yo, Akemi's older sister from Kengan Ashra. Shion, talk about, again, y'all need to read Kengan Ashra, like, to really appreciate this as much. It's just like, Kengan is such a great manga series. It's like, so great. Like, I highly recommend reading the manga, because like, it's just so beautifully drawn, so beautifully made, and this is just like a little thing where you like watch it go, ah, I know like freaking Carla's mother showing up in the early episodes or the teacher freaking Ozu showing up like oh my god like it's just so many little things like that that I can't suggest it enough so if you want to know, learn more about Kengen just watch my video on it I did like a couple weeks ago but yeah I just want to say that really quickly I just think that's so cool that they finally showed Shion and Donbu and she's got different hair I thought she would have a different hair color but okay that's, that's cool thank you Xena Thank you, Xena. I'm sorry, let me pause for a second. So many people in episode three when I was talking about like, oh, you would recognize that teacher on the guy if she's a famous cosplayer. They're like, well, actually, cosplay, you wouldn't be able to recognize it because blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, no, 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 this is my point right here. All right, if this person is a famous cosplayer, like Jessica Negri or Meg Turney, whatever, like a famous cosplayer, at least one, at least one person in that entire school would have noticed. It doesn't have to be the main girls or anything like that, but one person would have noticed that by now, just by going like, oh, your face looks a lot like, oh my God, 
Miss Jessica Negri, what are you doing? You know, like stuff like that. Like I, I, I brought this up so much, and people were saying like, no, no, it wouldn't make sense because like, no, if she was like a, you know, a low tier cosplayer, not trying to say low tier cosplay, like all cosplay is god tier, because love you girls. But like, if you go out in the world. And you get a name for yourself in cosplay, and you're all over like social media and stuff like that. Then your face—I don't care who you are—like one part of you, like at least one person in that school would be like a fan. Like it's just like highly improbable that not one person would just be like, "You look a lot like." Oh my God, it's you! Like it's just there. So thank you, Zena. Thank you. So mm, in y'all faces. Oh yeah. Okay, this whole part about improving blood circulation or reducing fatigue, I actually a uh, thousand percent agree with. Let me pause it real quickly. So, back in 2016, uh, that was the year I turned 25. Like, actually, it was like the last day of 2015 I turned 25 because my birthday is December 31st, 1990. But yeah, there you go. I decided, you know what, I don't want this to be like my peak, you know, where people go, oh, well, you once you hit 25, it's just a steady decline. So like I started uh, making a challenge for myself to work out every single day, but not exactly like work out like hardcore, like, oh my God, I'm going to just go rolling and stuff like that, but to actually just exercise every day doing something. And by doing exactly was saying doing the active resting I found like I was able to recover a lot faster I was a lot less sore and I felt a lot better and my energy levels shot up so for example like a typical work week for me I exercise like literally every single day like it's either like I'm walking I'm doing yoga or I'm doing like rollerblading or something like something light it's not like always super heavy like I train like I want to say like super hardcore about like four times four to five times a week and then like the other two are just like casual stuff like always getting the yoga in always getting light jogging or brisk walking or anything like that in and I feel so much better so I agree with this a thousand thousand percent like this entire like discussion they're having right here about like yeah definitely do the active rest I do but of course like if I feel super super sore like I'm like horribly horribly sore like dead as fuck then I probably won't do anything like it's just like yeah I'll probably just rest and recover but I honestly haven't taken Besides, like, when I was sick, I haven't taken, like, um, a day off just because I like being active. Because if you, by watching these videos, y'all know I am super hyper. Like, I have super, super high energy, and I have to burn it off somehow because, like, otherwise I can't sleep. Like, I have horrible insomnia because of my super high energy. It's, like, a blessing and a curse. So I always make sure I just, like, do this up every single day, and it just, I mean, works good. Like, I'm, my body's looking extra tight. Like, if you follow me on Instagram at Jack's Blade, so, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good with myself. So I agree with this 100%. But again, go at your own pace listen to your body if you feel any sharp pain like oh I'm overworking then that's not good at all so take the break you know just rest relax do whatever you need to to recover but if you're trying to just you know oh, okay I just I feel like I could do something but I'm just super sore then this could actually be quite beneficial like uh, one of my favorite things to do is just to go on a treadmill put, bring on like my app of like whatever show I'm watching like on Netflix or Crunchyroll Verve uh, Funimation um, and, like Amazon Prime I've been watching the boys recently which is a really really good Good show like I cannot stress it enough it's really good and then I just like walk at an incline by watching that and then it's just like helping me like get the blood flow going watching it and it's just I feel great I feel great afterwards also I want to comment on this a bit because this is a little misconception that's been going around for a while they even had me fooled for a little bit is that there's a misconception that the lactic acid in your muscles is what's keeping you sore for those days after your workout now lactic acid will typically affect you during the workout like you'll feel sore and tight during the workout but if your muscles are still sore from a couple days afterwards then that's typically just the workout you gave them like the minor tears and stuff like that and that's why blood Blood flow is so important to get into the muscle groups because it can actually help alleviate and speed up the process just by getting all the oxygen in there like Zena is saying. So just another friendly tip to keep you in mind and get you the best body of your life. See, see, like Zena is literally just the JoJo insert uh, for this series. Like that, you can't tell me otherwise. Like that is all she is for this show, like the JoJo insert. And I love it, the poses, everything. Like she's so great. Still love you, Hibiki. Hibiki's still the goat, though. Aw, oh, yeah, get it, Satomi. Get that deadlift, girl. Come on, girl. Uh, I love that. I love that so much. So let me let me pause and talk about the deadlift because it's getting a lot of traction. Now, I honestly agree with like most everyone when they talk about the deadlift. Deadlift is one of the best exercises you can do if you do it with good form. Now, a lot of people, this is the problem I notice a lot with just 
so, so many people, is they go on like Instagram or YouTube and they see these guys like deadlifting like insane amounts of weight and then they just go, oh, I could do that and then they just go and do it and then they hurt themselves because their body wasn't adapted enough. Like one of these things that you really have to take into consideration when doing deadlifts is to check your ego in at the door first. Like it's okay, like start with a bar, start with a lightweight, and then, you know, just gradually build your way up because that's the best way to do it without getting injured. Like there are tons of people in like their 50s and 60s who can still deadlift and have their form on point. So that's why they're able to move all this weight. But a lot of people just go, oh, I want to be one of these guys and do that. And then they hurt themselves. Or another thing I notice a lot of is uh, people get baited into lifting heavier than their, you know, what they can do like they get baited into doing it because like what typically happens and this is another reason why you should always just have headphones in is like let's say you're practicing a deadlift like, I've seen this happen countless times and then you're doing like I don't know lightweight like 25 pounds on each side you know bar stuff like that and you're just like getting the form down like someone could make a passing comment like well look at this bitch weight or something like that and then it's just like oh okay motherfucker and then like you put on extra weight to show them up and then like you end up hurting yourself and it's just like who was that guy? Are you ever gonna see that person again? Are you ever gonna see that bitch again? Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you doing that? Don't let people bait you into doing something just because, you know, you hear. Like, always just have your headphones in, focus on you. Do not focus on anyone else. I've seen this happen so many times, because I remember as a kid, I used to get baited and doing stupid stuff all the time where I would be like, no, I am not weak. I'm gonna prove you the fuck wrong. And then I would prove him wrong, and then I would have an injury from that, and it's just like, I, this person isn't even my life anymore and honestly when I look at their Facebook pages yeah cuz I'm pet, petty and salty like that it's just like they ain't even doing well in their life right now and I'm doing pretty good for myself so always just think of it for the long run like are you gonna be around these people in five years are they gonna be coming over to your house they're gonna be constantly talking to you no they do not matter at all focus on yourself like so many people will get baited into it and that is not good at all so focus on building the form up but if you're someone who just does not feel comfortable at all doing the standard barbell deadlift you could always try a trap bar deadlift where you stand in a hexagonal bar and then it actually just helps decrease the force put on the lumbar spine it also helps keep your shoulders in neutral and also you can just get the form down properly when practicing in it because it's just easier you stand up and go and you can get the form down a lot easier than just doing a standard barbell deadlift but again I want to st stress this out enough like there are some people people out there who are just like so high on their high horse that like if you don't do deadlifts at all they like look down and you're like you don't do deadlifts what the heck whatever but like the thing is there are like so many benefits to doing deadlifts but if for whatever reason you don't want to do them okay just whatever you you're terrified of you're hurting your lower back you just don't want to do them or something like that then that is your personal goal like for me I I'm not someone who forces my ideals on other people do I think you should do deadlifts hell yeah I do I think you should do I definitely think like everyone should just you know try deadlifts out and just see how you feel with them if you don't feel comfortable doing it all right you know what that's you all right that that's not my opinion like there's like this mindset that you can't get like ungodly strong unless you do deadlifts and there are tons of people who just you know do insane calisthenics insane other stuff and they're just super super bro like people so there is not one way like think of fitness like um uh, a destination but there's not mo one way to get to that destination there are multiple ways to get to that destination you can do what like everyone you want to do or you can just craft your own path so just remember that like should I do deadlifts I'm saying yes deadlifts are great for you but if you choose not to do them then you know that's on you all right whatever no hate from me I'm not gonna be one of those guys who's like oh you're a bitch man or something like that no 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 that's pathetic like strong people lift people up they don't put them down like that is just someone overcompensating for something going on in their life and that's kind of pathetic so I just want to say that don't worry you got this okay they're doing lateral raises today follow along with lateral raises okay all right, all right. Now, I personally like to do lateral raises with a bend in the arm. I feel like I can squeeze better at the top of the deltoid when I do that. And also, I don't go fully up. I just do it to a flexion in the deltoid. Like, I don't go, like, over high or too low. So I just, like, go right here, and I feel it. And I always lead with the thumb up. So, yeah, here we go. Like that. And I feel like that works a lot better. Like, if you actually try it and then slow it down, you can feel, like, a substantial working in the deltoid muscle. And it's just, like, you notice those shoulders pop. You got some things going on 
on, boy. So when you wear those tight shirts, they'd be hugging you like, girl, be like, dang, he got some broad shoulders, you know, like stuff like that. It's really awesome. Highly recommend trying it out. And then you can go along and follow along with this great little exercise. Well, do some do that. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something and I hope it was just a fun little experience. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification that will let you know the minute I upload. And also I'm working on a Baki Kengen video right now because they're both on Netflix and I really just wanted to do it and it's going to be fun. It'll, like it'll be, if you've been with me since 2016, you'll get a feel of like, oh, this is a throwback. So yeah, it's going to be super fun to do. Uh, but anyways, you know, if you want to watch the, this show, be sure to click the Funimation thing down below. And remember those Mighty Guide sale going on again, click the link down below. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Tell me what you thought of the episode. Tell me who's your favorite girl in the comment section down below. Who's best girl to y'all. And, uh, you know, again, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, don't forget. Moment I. Hope y'all have a great one. And, uh, thank you. Can't wait to go work on this video right now.